Hey, it's Mike Rowan, Fix My Hog. Now here's an interesting question that comes up from time to time. Uh, you're out riding around with your buddies and you head over to the Dairy Queen and uh, somebody always says, geez, I, I wonder how big my motorcycle is cubic inch wise. Uh, there's a real simple math formula that is very easy to remember. And uh, it's, it's super simple. So say you've got a, uh, you know, you know your bike's a 95 inch. You know, you went from 88 to 99 inch. So we're gonna show you some simple math. So you take 95, divided by 0 0.061 equals 1557 and what Harley's done is they've rounded it off to 1550 they call it a 1550 you know so you clear it out you go okay well my bike's a 103 it's 103 divided by 0 0.061 equals 1688 Harley refers to it as a 1690 now the nice thing about this is, oh, your buddy's on a metric bike. He's got a, you know, such and such, 1690. Now it's just the other way. So you go 1690 times 0.061 equals 103.09. Hey, I got another little uh, math formula for you too that's real easy to remember. And uh, a lot of times, you know, you're dealing with uh, American dimension and you might want to convert it over to metric or you got a metric you know, you've got a metric uh, accessory part that needs to be converted to American. So real simple uh, formula, you need to remember 25.4 and you're either gonna multiply or divide, you know, depending if it's American or metric. So let's show you an example. Say you got a two inch part, you wanna convert it over to metric measurement. You take two inches, two times 25.4 and that equals 50.8 millimeters, you know, so and same thing going the other way. Say you've got a, uh, a metric measurement and it's uh, two millimeters, two divided by 25.4. It's coming up to almost 80,000, so you can see 78.74. So now you know that one millimeter is almost 40 thousandths of an inch. That's kind of what most machine shop guys, you know, they, they got that in their mind. So just for being in the ballpark, they, they always know, oh, one millimeter, 40 thousandths. It's kind of tattooed on their brain. So anyway, that's a, that's a nice little formula. You can tuck that away in your notes. And another thing is, is, you know, when you're messing with drill bits and you want to convert that over to a, a, an American measurement. So if it's a 7 8 drill bit and you're like, geez, I wonder what that is. Well, you just take the bottom number and you divide it into the top number. So let's take that. You take 7 divided by 8 equals 875 thousandths. Real simple formula. You know, it's just one of those things where you, when you have a drill bit and it's only labeled in, in a fraction and you want to convert it back, take that bottom number, divide it in the top number, got your answer. So anyway, check out Fix My Hog. We got a lot of great tech tip videos on there as well.